uh, you need to have a pressure release valve in your client relationships. Your business as a consultant is only as strong as the strength of those client relationships. And you want to be sensitive to when you know, maybe you're pushing a little too hard um, on something. And that came up at some point um, with me where there was one particular client and they, they weren't the CEO, but they were a really senior executive, very influential with the CEO. Um, and, and they wanted to be doing something uh, on a certain uh, assignment that we were working on together um, that we didn't agree with. And, and we were pushing back and pushing back and pushing back and saying, well, I see what you mean, but I don't think we should go down that route. We should go a different route. And, and, that, and we're paid to do that, right? Just to share our, our most um, honest opinions. But what was beginning to happen, and this was over several months, what was beginning to happen um, is I began to get rumblings that that particular executive was really starting to turn from a fan of ours to a detractor. Um, and begin to ask questions like, well, would you really need, you know, this guy Rob around so much on so many different assignments? Um, and I'm uncomfortable with how much influence he has with my boss and, and all of that. And I thought, well, you know, sometimes you have to live with that. Um, and we'll talk about that in a different video. Uh, but, but I could feel that, that I was unnecessarily pressing an issue that wasn't that big a deal and beginning to turn a former ally against me and at some point in time, if you turn enough people inside the organization against you, even if the CEO is you know, your buddy, you can get bounced out of a place. That's happened before. We'll tell that story someday, too. Um, but I made a decision to, to release the pressure on that particular executive on this issue. And so I called the meeting uh, so we could talk about a variety of things. And I said, hey, you know that thing we've been talking about? Um, I've been rethinking it a bit. And I really see your point. I see where you're coming from. And I've been looking at it kind of from the wrong angle. So let's talk about how I can help you make that thing happen with, with your department that you're interested in, in making it happen. And it was like just boom from kind of a tense, um, friction-filled relationship with smooth as silk. And literally within a week, I'm, I'm hearing reports back from other people that I knew that this person turned around. And, and thinks I'm invaluable to the organization. And, and so all you have to do sometimes is release that pressure a little bit. Um, so long as it doesn't compromise your integrity and you don't believe it's sending the client in the wrong direction. But maybe you've been a little stubborn about something, as I was in that case. You've got to recognize that you, not when you push it too hard, when to back off a little bit. So be sensitive to those things and, and really understand how important the relationship is with every person you interact with with your clients and when might you be pushing something a little too hard and beginning to turn people away from being supporters of yours and real partners of yours um, to be, and they'll begin to try and take you out <laughs> from the inside. Um, and you can do uh, damage to yourself and ultimately minimize how much you can help that organization because you've got people who aren't with you anymore. So thanks for listening.